Good morning. I'm Tanisha Broadway with Mortgage News Today, and I hope you're having a fantastic morning. Okay, the question everyone's asking, are we in a bubble? Is this a repeat market, and are we going to crash and burn? <sighs> Well, on today's episode, I'm going to discuss some factors whether we're in a bubble or are we not in a bubble. With as much appreciation we're experiencing in this current housing market, double digit price appreciation to be exact. It's understandable to be a little worried and think that we're headed towards a crash like the one we suffered back in 2008. But you have to understand the climate is very different and it's highly unlikely we're gonna suffer a crash. So on today's episode, I'm gonna talk about the three reasons why we're not gonna crash y'all. Don't even trip. Back in 2008, financial institutions had the loosest of standards in terms of who they would lend to. You could have terrible credit, um, limited to no income. Anyone could basically get a home. People who had no business buying homes was buying homes. Now, yes, that was good for people who, you know, were getting into home ownership and this opened the door for them to get into a home. But then when they couldn't pay those notes and started defaulting on those loans, boom, crash. In 2008, prices skyrocketed because everybody wanted to buy a home and they had the ability to do so with the subprime financing, you know, those liar loans. What we're dealing with right now is a supply and demand issue, okay? It's just really expensive to build homes. There's not enough inventory. According to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, lumber has reached an all-time high. So you have low inventory, right? Lots of people wanna buy homes, appreciation is going to happen from that. Now, in a competitive market, this is a normal type of appreciation and no need to worry about a bubble happening. If I said it once, then I'll say it again. Interest rates are rising. And this is precisely the reason why we're not headed towards a bubble. It ain't cheap to borrow money, okay? And people are really analyzing their pricing ceilings because of that. You know, it's not like in 2008 where you can get a 1% interest only loan for two years, right? You gotta really pay attention to that factor. Um, really, we're pretty fortunate, to be honest with you right now, with the rates where they are. Yes, they're in the high fours, fives, but over the past 30 years, the interest rate has been an average 7%. So for those of you who said, you know what? I ain't buying a house until after the crash, not doing it. I want you to take a deep breath and relax because this market that we're in is in no way near a bubble whatsoever. So if you're interested in getting pre-approved, you know how to reach me. And for all of your mortgage needs, you can hit me at www.tanishabroadway.com and I'll be there to assist you. Have a good one.